Hello, welcome to LeafMap Tutorial 60. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add uh, text, images, uh, HTML, or uh, widgets uh, to Interactive Map. So first, let's go to the LeafMap website to download the um, noble example, uh, leafmap.org, and then uh, Tutorials. Scroll down to the end, and uh, click number 60, Notebooks. Uh, you are welcome to click the notebook to open this one in Google Collab or Binder or you can download this one, click this and then to download this one to a compo uh, computer once it's downloaded then you can open using uh, Jupyter Dev or Jupyter Notebook so here we're going to go through this example uh, to show you how to add uh, different types of uh, components uh, to the interactive map so first of all let's import the library and so the first example is showing you how to add text. Uh, it's pretty simple and easy to use. You just create an interactive map and then you specify the text content. Then just call the function add text um, and the text content and also the position where do you want to uh, put the text and then just simply execute. So take a look. Uh, it's going to show you here at the bottom right here, the lower right corner, uh, bottom right. So you have four corners bottom left bottom right upper left and upper right uh, you might also notice here uh, this one is using the ipi leaf that uh, plotting back end but you can also use the folium so i can just uh, import leaf map dot folium map is leaf map uh, either one should work just fine similarly right at the lower right corner so uh, by default, uh, this is what it looks like, but you are welcome to customize the style. Uh, for example, you can change the color, you can change the background, you can also change the um, the border radius. So what you can do here is just simply specify some parameters. Uh, you can just pass in as a parameter or you can just pass in as a dictionary and then unwrap the dictionary as two stars here. So we can change, for example, the font size, uh, font color, if you want, you can shift tap on your keyboard to bring up the help documentation of the function. And so these are all the parameters you can customize. Uh, font size, color, uh, bold or not, uh, padding. So the padding basically is the distance uh, from the text uh, to the edges. And also the background, you, if you want to use the background not and uh, background color, white, uh, border radius, and also the position. So as you can see, these are things that we can easily customize and then you can just execute so take a look at uh, the outcome right so now the color is blue right so blue here uh, is bolded and the painting right now is 10 pixel uh, so the thing so it become a little bit wider uh, so the white space between the text and also on the left side here um, the border radius like five um, five pixels so it's the corner here my mouse if you see my corner here so it's not like a rectangle so now it's a big rounded uh, rectangle and the bottom right right so here uh, for the color you can use uh, uh, any common uh, name of the color or you can use a hex color code so i can change to for example uh hashtag and then for if i want the red color you'll be ff0000 right so rgb so the first two digits red color and then green and blue you can also change here maybe the background color i can also change the border radius for example to 15 pixels and bottom right right if you want to change it you can now take a look right so this is what it looks like now you can change the color so it makes it really easy you can add any text um to the map and so in that way you can um more have some descriptive especially if sometimes you're going to show some background information then it's better to add some text uh, to the map um, besides using just one uh, uh, text to the map you can add multiple so here because as i mentioned earlier the position you have four corners and let me just show you what it looks like this one here so we created an interactive map and this map is a split map so on the left side so in one layer on the right side so in one layer so this is exact uh, just like this one uh, is doing but we also turn off the major control and the scale control so basically the controls at the lower left corner and these are the two one here right so this is the major control this is the scale control uh, we turn it off so that in in that way the text can be added to the bottom left corner and also the bottom right corner 
and you get this uh the split map like left layer right layer and then just add text so we add you can use this as many times as you want so you can have four corners but in this case we just add uh, two text uh, left and right and also put it in the lower left corner and lower right corner so in this way uh, you can show the user that okay so on the left side uh, is the uh, ESA wall cover first color composite right and the right side is the two color composite you're welcome to custom, uh, customize the text to whatever way uh, you like okay so this is how you can add text next one is adding uh, images so similarly you can passing an image to uh, as an HTTP URL or it can be a, a local file pass and then just call the function add image uh, it's going to add the image and you can also position at the bottom right corner right so just run it uh, if the image is a uh, um, HTTP URL it's going to download the image to your computer so take a look now this is just a Jupyter logo right it's placed at the lower right corner uh, you can change it so for example i can change it to the lower left corner so bottom uh, bottom left uh, it's going to show at the bottom left um, for the the folium uh, protein backend you can actually also uh, precisely uh, position the image on the map so it's going to starting from the lower left corner so basically the bottom left and then use the uh, tuple xy so it's a percentage right from zero to 100 percent um, so if you want to put the, for example the logo somewhere in the middle uh, you can change it to 50 50 so uh, the lower left corner of the image is going to place right in the middle so let me show you here uh, position and then uh, parentheses 50 50 that means the lower uh, oops uh, it's comma that means the lower left corner of the image is going to right place right uh, at the center but if you want the entire image to be uh, around the center then probably you need to make some uh, slight adjustment so it should probably a little bit lower here and also to the left and to the right uh, to the left and to uh, to the bottom so maybe you can change to 40 and also the other one is also 40 and run this one again so now you have the image uh, at the center roughly at the center of the map Compared with the, the text, uh, image is a lot more flexible. So you can add um, by specifying the exact location. It doesn't have to be at the uh, four corners. So you can specify uh, the X and Y so they can place in any location you like. So this can be uh, a good way to put your logo or some other images if you want to put on the map. Okay, so this is how you can do that. Besides uh, just add image, uh, sometimes you can also embed images uh as an html so in the, this one i'm going to show you is that um you have an image but you also want to add some for example a figure caption or something to the map then you can use the add html so what you need is to passing a string of http uh, 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 html uh, wrap within triple quotes and then within the html you can use some uh, html text for example uh, heading images anything so pre pretty much anything uh, html support you can do it from here so this makes it really flexible because you can add a lot of uh, customized html to the map and similarly um, this example shows you right um, this is uh, transparent here and also i add logo like the text so the text is attached uh, to this entire html uh, you're welcome to change that so for example again just say um, my company logo for example right and it will change right so you can uh, if this too big you can as a paragraph a paragraph or you can just uh, for example uh heading level three right so now it becomes smaller so this allows you to easily customize again you can be bottom left you can be bottom right so you can customize uh the position of the figure of course sometimes you have other components then you have to make some adjustment um, or maybe I can put to maybe upper right oops upper right or oh, top right sorry so it's called top right no upper right all right so now it shows uh, in the top right corner 
uh, but you might want to disable the uh, lay control so this is how you can add HTML right and within HTML you can certainly have text images uh, if you like last example I'm going to show you how you can add some widget uh, because if you have uh, using Python sometimes you can join uh, some figures using some libraries for example map or lib or uh, Prodi or some other um, uh, libraries and so let's take a look at this one here right we are using map probably to create a sample figure right so just looking like this and you will notice here it's just an object uh, figure objects you can save this one as a png or jpeg to your computer and then use the add image function that we introduced earlier uh, like this one to add to the map but you don't have to uh, so the G uh, leaf map has a function called add widget so you only need to just create a map and then use map dot add widget uh, and then from here uh, the same thing so just passing the figure where you want to uh, position the figure then you should have this one directly uh, added to the map right just like this one here at the lower right corner uh, so pretty easy to use right you, you don't have to save the uh, the the figure as an image so this is using uh, the uh, the folium uh, protein backend but you're welcome to use the default one ipad leaflet uh, they might have some slight different uh, appearance but they should also support the same thing so let me add this one All right so this is right now you look, look different right it's the uh, ipad leaflet now Right, so it's the same color uh, most likely they're very similar but uh, you might notice some differences in here right so this one right now uh, are still similar and how about this one oh so uh the ipi leaflet doesn't support a uh, tuple so you we have to specify uh basically you can only put in the four corners so bottom right uh it should work right and you might also notice this one uh, for ipad leaflet it has a background so white color uh, as far as i know uh, the white color cannot be removed so it cannot make it transparent uh, but for the folium you you, you can make it transparent uh, ipad leaflet doesn't support that so this is one thing that you might want to uh, pay attention to in case like so this one earlier it was using the folium it doesn't work uh, for ipad leaflet so you will always see a transparent background uh, if this is something you want uh, then you can use the ipad leaflet otherwise you might want to use the uh the folium and also for uh the ipad leaflet protein backend you will notice here for the folium uh, the figure is a little bit like shifted right so you have a lot of white space on the right and like no space in uh, on the left but the for, for the ipad leaflet it looks um better so now you see it's a little bit more uh, evenly distributed uh, at the four corners so those are some minor differences uh, just in case that if you're using uh, the two different backends uh, the result might look slightly different but uh, most of the functionalities are very much similar so you can use the same function uh, if you want so now you know uh, it how you can add text images html or like figure widgets to the map just using just one line of code and you can customize the style um, if you want so the most flexible one would be i think the html so uh, because there are tons of html you can easily customize uh, the style to the way you want uh, using the html okay so that's all for this video i hope you find it useful i see you in the next one take care bye bye